हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम रोहिणी हरिदास वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट एट मौलाना मुख्तार अहमद नडवी टेक्निकल कैंपस मालेगाव इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द सिंपल एम्पिडेंस रिले दीज आर दी कंटेंट्स इंट्रोडक्शन ऑपरेटिंग प्रिंसिपल बैलेंस्ड बीम स्ट्रक्चर ट्रिप लॉ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑन वी आई प्लेन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑन आर एक्स प्लेन एंड डायरेक्शनल प्रॉपर्टी नाउ लेट एस स्टार्ट विद सम बेसिक्स सिंपल एम्पेडेंस रिले इज द टाइप ऑफ डिस्टेंस रिले एंड वी नो दैट द लाइन एम्पेडेंस इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू द लेंथ that is distance or in other words we can say that the impedance is nothing but an electrical measurement of distance along the transmission line and thus it is also called as distance relay here the current coil provides the operating torque and voltage coil provides the restraining torque and its operation depends on ratio of voltage and current which is expressed in terms of impedance please note that to compute the impedance there is no need to perform the actual division of v by i but we can get it by performing the comparison instead this is because arithmetic division is much more complicated operation than a straight comparison so the simple impedance relay operates the impedance seen by the relay is less than the preset value called as ridge so what is ridge maximum length of line up to which the relay can protect now there are two terminologies over ridge meaning is that sometimes the relay may operate even when the fault point is beyond its reach that is beyond its protected length and second one is under reach meaning is that sometimes relay may fail to operate even the fault point is within its reach that is within its protected length now let us see the operating principle consider the transmission line ab as shown in figure let us assume that there is a source only at end a and we wish to generate a zone of protection which extends from a to b assume that impedance relay is located at end a as discussed earlier we know that impedance relay requires two quantity as input that is voltage and current so voltage is taken from pt that is potential transformer and current is taken from ct that is current transformer as we wish to extend the protection to the section ab so the reach of distance relay is made equal to z set which is nothing but the impedance of the line that is impedance of the section ab under normal operating condition now let us assume that fault occurs at point f1 as this point is within the zone so this fault is called as internal fault so the relay will compute the impedance as seen from its location and compare it with the set value to take the drip decision we know that if z seen is less than z set then the relay will trip otherwise it will restrain so let us see step by step when the fault occurs the fault current increases and the voltage decreases we know that z seen is equal to v by i so as current increases then what will happen the z seen will decreases and 
as z set is less than z set so the relay will trip so for the internal fault the relay will operate please note that we need not actually performing a division of vii to compute the impedance but we can get the computation by performing a comparison instead you can see here voltage element provides the restraining torque and current element provides the operating torque so when faults current increases therefore operating torque increases and voltage decreases therefore restraining torque will decrease as operating torque is greater than the restraining torque therefore the relay will trip now let us see the implementation of simple impedance relay using balanced beam structure it can be seen from the figure the current coil exerts a torque on the soft iron armature in such a way that it tends to close the trip contacts the voltage coil on the other hand tends to keep the trip contacts open thus providing the restraining torque the control spring keeps the contact open when the relay is in an energized condition so the relay operates when operating torque is greater than restraining torque here operating torque is provided by the current coil and restraining torque is provided by the voltage coil now let us see when fault occurs the fault current increases and voltage decreases thus the operating torque increases because it is proportional to current and restraining torque decreases as it is proportional to voltage and thus the relay operates as shown in the figure now let us revise the universal torque equation before deriving the trip law for the impedance relay this equation explains the working of an electrical relay we know that the relay has some arrangements of the electromagnets which consist of current and a voltage winding and that will produce the operating torque and a restraining torque the operating characteristics of all types of the relay can be obtained by assigning the proper signs to each term let us see t is equal to k1 i square which is nothing but the torque developed by the current coil k2 v square is the torque developed by the voltage coil k3 vi cos theta minus tau is the torque due to the directional element and k4 is the torque due to spring where theta is the angle between v and i and tau is the maximum torque angle here k1 k2 and k3 are the constants please note that the torque which tends to close the contact is called as operating torque the torque which tends to oppose the closing of the trip contact is called as restraining torque so while deriving the trip law please keep in mind the quantity which provides the operating torque sign positive sign and the quantity which provides the restraining torque a sign negative sign now let us derive the trip law for simple impedance relay to realize the characteristics of impedance relay current is compared with the voltage at relay location here current element provides the operating torque and voltage element provides the restraining torque let us rewrite the universal torque equation here you assign the positive sign to the term k1 i square as current element provides the operating torque assign negative sign to the term k2 v square as voltage element provides the restraining torque as there is no role of directional element so the term k3 vi cos theta minus tau will be equal to 
also assign negative sign to the constant k4 as it provides straining torque here what is k4 it is the restraining torque provided by the spring so we will get t is equal to k1 i square minus k2 v square minus k4 here you can neglect the torque due to spring when the relay is on the verge of operation thus we will get t is equal to k1 i square minus k2 v square so for the operation of the relay the following condition should be satisfied that is operating torque should be greater than the restraining torque or in other words you can say the restraining torque should be less than the operating torque that is k2 v square should be less than k1 i square thus we will get v square by i square should be less than k1 by k2 which is nothing but v by i should be less than the capital k where v by i is the z seen that is the impedance seen by the relay and k is the z set that is the reach of the distance relay thus we will get if z seen is less than the z set then the relay will trip otherwise it will restrain this is nothing but the trip law for the same impedance relay the relay operates when the measured impedance that is z seen is less than the given constant that is z set the simple impedance relay is an overcurrent relay with the voltage restraint now let us see the impedance relay characteristics on the vi plane from the derived trip law it is the straight line passing through the origin whose slope is equal to z z which is nothing but the reach of the distance relay we know that if the z seen is less than z z then the relay will trip otherwise it will restrain so the entire portion below this straight line will be the trip region and the entire portion above this straight line will be the restraining region please note here the effect of control spring is neglected so it is a straight line in case of electromagnetic relay the characteristics is slightly bent near the origin due to the effect of control spring just we have seen the operating characteristics of impedance relay on vi plane but it is more useful to draw the characteristics on the rx plane so let us see the reasons all the electromechanical relays respond to one or more conventional torque producing quantities such as voltage current product of voltage current and the angle theta between them and physical or design force such as control spring for the distance relay analyzing the response of the relay for all the conditions is difficult because the voltage varies for each fault or varies for the same fault but with the different system conditions so to resolve this difficulty it is common to use an rx diagram to both analyze and visual relay response so by utilizing only two quantities that is r and x we avoid the confusion introduced using the three quantities that is e i and theta one more significant advantage of using rx diagram is that it allows us to represent both the relay and the system on the same diagram now let us see the characteristics of impedance relay on rx plane we know that z is equal to r plus jx the same thing can be rewritten as z square equal to r square plus x square and this represents the equation of the circle having radius equal to z here the r axis that is resistance axis represents the real part of the impedance whereas the reactance axis 
represents the imaginary part of the impedance. From the equation that is from z square equal to r square plus x square, the characteristics is the circle on the rx plane having the radius equal to z z or we can say it is a reach of the impedance relay. So, radius of circle equal to z z which is equal to reach of the relay. Here the angle phi l represents the position of the phasor and it is given by phi l equal to tan inverse x by r. From the trip law we know that if z sin is less than z z then the relay will trip. Thus at any value of z sin less than the radius of the circle the relay operates. Hence the entire portion inside the circle is the operating region of the relay. Whereas at any value of z sin greater than the radius of the circle the relay restrains. Hence the entire portion exterior to the circle is the non-operating region of the relay. Now let us discuss the directional property of simple impedance relay. Please note that first quadrant of the Rx plane represents the forward fault whereas the third quadrant on the Rx plane represents the reverse fault. So from the Rx characteristics we can say that the impedance relay is a non-directional relay because its characteristics is a circle and it occupies both first and the third quadrant. Thus the relay will trip for a fault which lies either in the forward direction or in the reverse direction. But it is always desired that the relay should operate for the faults lying only in the forward direction and it should never operate for the fault lying in the reverse direction. Therefore, simple impedance relay will not be useful in a situation where the selectivity between forward and the reverse fault has to be maintained. These are the some references. If you like this video then please share and subscribe. Thank you.